There we go. All right, yeah. So we swept this buy side liquidity. And since we are bullish with the news release, what I will say is I'm definitely game to still play sells. But what I want to see instead of just a break of structure is I want to see a break of structure with a displacement left behind, aka a fair value gap or an imbalance. And then we can drop the imbalance. So that'll kind of give us one extra confirmation since we would be trading against the news um, that we can use. Because don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, we can still get, even though news was bullish, we could still get you know, a drop. I mean, the buy, it can be really delayed with the news, right? So we could see a drop. We could sweep, see a sweep of this sell side, this sell side, fill this imbalance. And then the rest of the day during PM session, we could see a huge rally. You know, so there's no, there's no crystal ball. We can still play both sides of the market here. All right, there we go. So we're sweeping this buy side now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, as of recent history, I mean, we've been burned by getting in positions before the news, right? But um, a lot of times the news is the excuse, right? So news brings the volatility and it's going to push the market to where the market was going to go anyway. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it's just literally it's whatever you're comfortable with. Right. Like if you notice that you're trading, you know, suffers when you're trading before news, which I felt like in recent history over the last like month, every time we've got in positions like 15 minutes before news release, 30 minutes in, you know, we end up getting stopped out and then price runs right where we thought it was going to go. You know, so it's like. You got to be willing to kind of like adapt. And, and be willing to change. Dollar still dropping. I'm gonna actually look here in the one hour. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. So you guys see that? Sell side liquidity right here on the dollar. Not that we necessarily need to take that because price has already been I mean, this was a market structure shift right up here when we closed above here. We're already at 50% of this wick. Yeah, this is, um, to me, this is all liquidity. Especially kind of like, you guys see like the angle that it's kind of going up at. To me, this is just like a big setup for price to just take all this out. You got your trend line traders doing something like this. Right, I'm sure you got people playing it on both sides. You probably got people, you know, and then price will break up here, potentially run up here, grab, ideally this buy side liquidity, and then just rip, take all this out. This is all liquidity. Just accumulating orders. Especially with, uh, you know, opening bell, then you have news. I mean, it's just you got people, markets collecting orders right now. But hopefully you guys see that. These are all like kind of just things that, you know, even though like maybe for example, over the last couple of weeks, just trades that I've been dropping even in the Discord, um, they're all kind of things that just like are part of like the thought process that go into every position, even though I might not mention them. My personal uh, preference is to just wait, but we do have a fair value gap as of right now, as long as this candle closes like this without pulling back into here, we have a fair value gap left open. So if that candle closes, guys, if that candle closes and leaves this fair value gap open. On the next candle, if we pull back into here, I'm going to look to enter. As long as we close below here. If we don't close below here. Mm -mm -mm. Did not close. 
So this is the fair value gap. Like, let's say this candle comes down after we fill that fair value gap and we close still below this level. I'm going to keep tracking the same low. If this candle were to come down and close below here, I'm willing to take this entry. It's only like a 3.64 stop. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to track this low, guys. We close below that, guys. I'm going to take a sell. What a four point stop. All right, I'm in. My stop's going above this high. Leave yourself room for spread. So TP1 here, guys, this low with this fair value gap, I'm not going to partial half just because I really think this sell side, all this liquidity, I think is going to get taken. That's what I'm aiming for. So I'm only going to partial probably like, I don't know, like a third maybe or a fourth of my position. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably partial like a fourth of my position or a quarter of it. And then I'm going to move stop to break even. All right, get ready. There we go, TP1. There we go, TP2 hit. Ooh, that was quick. I closed, I partialed. I'd rather I'd rather miss out on a winning trade and just watch it than you know get in when I'm unsure and then take a loss and then be pissed at myself that I took a loss. You know what I mean? Which I kind of experienced that a little bit uh, on Friday. Um, I really did. I should have just listened to my intuition. My intuition said don't trade Friday, and I don't I don't know anybody that made money Friday personally. Unless I mean, I'm sure someone did, but. Which is why, I mean, if we can be in a good spot by Thursday, I'm definitely game. 5% yesterday, bro. <clears throat> what are you doing trading Sundays? <laughs> um, yeah, so if we're in a good spot by Thursday. I'm definitely just going to chill. I'm just going to take Friday off. So between um, SPX up through Thursday. All right, get ready for TB3. Um, I'm going to send this actually. Um, but between SPX and then I have some Forex trades, we can go over Forex guys. I'm going to wait and see if this TP3 gets hit first, but we can go over a couple of Forex trades as well. Just so you guys can keep an eye on some stuff. Um, I'll do my best, obviously, update you guys on all, all the Forex trades, but some trades will probably play out during London session. That's just kind of the, you know, it's how it's going to go uh, for some of them. So, you know, for those of you that are like in Europe or other parts of the world, it'll probably be a little easier. I'm actually envious of people that, there we go, TP3 here, guys. Oh, shoot. Manager position. <laughs> we'll see. But this order block could be what holds it up. All right, TP4 hit. All right. Yeah, I'm literally 90% out. I'm going to set TP at 41. I'm going to do 4105. So I'm going to give myself like a little bit of room here. Just in case, you know, price doesn't want to get all the way down there. But I'm going to set that. We might end up hitting it anyway. That'd be cool. But yeah, 4105, guys, is where my final take profit is set. And I'm going to be out fully. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the recording, though.